What's up YouTube, this is JabberTech, and today I'm bringing you another video about the beta release of Android 8.0 for Android Wear 2.0 on the LG Watch Sport. And one thing to mention, this beta program is only available if you have the LG Watch Sport, and I'll leave the link in the description below if you would like to enroll your device in this program. One thing to note, if you use Android Pay on the regular on your watch, do not install this beta program because Android Pay will not work. That's one bug that I found and I would disregard the uh, disclaimer stating that it's not a stable build. I think that's just to protect themselves. I've had zero issues with this and I've definitely noticed an improvement in battery life. So as I've mentioned, the only bug that I've found so far is that Android Pay does not work. So let's get into the two cool features that I have found so far. And one of them happens to be this new feature called Touch Lock. So if you have Always On Screen enabled, you can also now enable Touch Lock. So what it basically does is lock your screen so that you don't have accidental touches that wake up the screen. This would basically be useful in many situations. One that I can think of right off the bat, let's say maybe your sleeve keeps touching and activating the screen, or your jacket in winter, or you rub your arm against your leg and it keeps activating the screen. This will help you save battery by keeping the screen disabled. And the only way to disable the screen lock is to press the power button and that unlocks it. So I'm really glad they introduced this feature because I've had many accidental touches and that just drains your battery. So that's one new feature. The other feature that we have is now a battery saver mode. And yes, we've had it on Android Wear before, but that only activated when your battery got to about 15%. But now what you can do is you can manually activate battery saver. And what that will do is extend your battery's life by limiting the vibration location services, Wi-Fi and mobile usage, data and app updates, and the always on display. So with this turned on, let's say you know you're gonna be away for the whole weekend. If you keep that turned on, you probably will have a lot more battery life. And what I'm hoping for is instead of just having a blank screen, maybe Google can follow Huawei and what they did with their watch sport and basically turns this into a analog watch. And all you have displayed is the time on the screen without any other alerts or anything like that. That would really extend the battery life since this is an AMOLED panel. Only the pixels that illuminate the time would actually take battery. But instead what they've done, you know, they've basically disabled the entire screen until you activate it. And as you see there too, it dims it as well. So this again is useful. Say you're away for the weekend, you forgot your charger, but you do want to have some sort of functionality with your watch. This is pretty cool to have. And you can just re-enable you can just disable it by tapping on the battery saver icon and that'll disable it. So that's really cool too. But again, I'm hoping Google implements the Huawei where basically it's a step tracker and the clock. That would be awesome. It's gonna be a lot more features coming out. And anyway guys, that's just been the two new cool features with the beta program. And I suggest you check it out if you have one of these watches. Let me know if you find any other bugs. I will do so in the comments below as well. And I'll catch you next time guys. Peace.